First tonight, a horrific crime against a student with special needs. We are learning new details at 6 o'clock about what happened inside a high school bathroom that landed three teenagers behind bars. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. Police say the teenagers took turns sexually assaulting her and acted as lookouts for each other at Cedar Hill High School in Dallas County. And that is where we find our Marianne Martinez with what parents are saying tonight. Well, Kaylee, not only do police say they have the girls' version of events to go by, they also say part of the attack was caught on video by a camera in the hallway. Three Cedar Hill High School boys now facing serious allegations. Police say they lured a student with special needs into a bathroom after school and took turns raping her. One high school mom asked us not to show her face because her son knows one of the accused teens. It's just so traumatizing, and then the fact that she's special needs just adds more to it. The police report says while well, inside the restroom, Marco Garcia put his hand around the victim's neck and forced her into a stall. Marco told the victim to take her shirt off and pull up her bra. The victim stated that she complied because she was alone, scared, and felt that she could not leave. She's not able to do things that normal kids can do a lot of times, and then to be taken advantage of in a manner such as that, that is depravity to me. A camera from the school hallway caught the boys acting as lookouts for each other. The report says the 16 year old victim has a mental disability and knew one of the boys. I think they should be tried as an adult for the crime that they committed. Now, two of the boys will be charged as adults. One is 19 and the other one is 17. Reporting live, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.